Hey there folks, welcome to Foster Recap. Spoiler alert watch out, and consider subscribing. The movie starts with United States, Marine Corps officer Sam Cahill, who is about to be sent to war in Afghanistan. He gave his letter, to his colleague and instructed him, to deliver it to his family if anything unfortunate happened. He is married to his high school girlfriend, Grace, and together they have two young daughters, Isabel and Maggie. Sam's older brother, Tommy, is a criminal who was just released from prison. Sam went to pick him up from prison, where he allowed him to use his truck for service in Afghanistan a few days before Sam's departure. There is a family dinner with Tommy and Sam's parents, Hank and Elsie. Maggie's daughter says to Tommy that Grace dislikes him, but Tommy doesn't let it bother him much. During dinner, Hank insults Tommy for his lack of understanding, causing an awkward situation in the house. The next day, Sam went to Afghanistan, and during his tour, his helicopter was attacked and shot down. Grace received the news about Sam, she was emotionally broken down and started crying. At night, Tommy came to take Sam's van, he wasn't aware of the news of Sam's unfortunate death, but surprisingly, it's revealed that Sam is still alive. Sam and Joe Willis are the sole survivors, they are taken prisoner by the Taliban but were declared killed in action by the government. At Sam's funeral in absentia, Hank attempts to drive Elsie and the girls home while drunk, but Tommy intercepts him. Hank once again berates Tommy, and he accuses Hank of influencing Sam to join the Marines because of his own Vietnam War service. Tommy attempts to redeem himself, so he brings a bunch of his friends and completes a kitchen remodel for Grace. The next day, Hank came home and was impressed. With Tommy taking care of Sam's children, Hank and Tommy also mend their relationship, and Grace bonds with Tommy, aided by his growing paternal connection with Isabel and Maggie. Grace and Tommy share a fireside kiss but do not take their attraction any further. However, Tommy continues to remain close to the family, and as his nieces grow attached to him, Tommy arranges a surprise birthday party for them. Meanwhile, Sam and Joe are tortured by their captors, and Sam is eventually forced to brutally beat Joe to death. Sometime later, Sam is rescued by the U.S. Army, Grace receives the good news that Sam survived, they go to the airport to welcome Sam, at home, they struggle to readjust, showing signs of severe post-traumatic stress disorder, his daughters grow fearful and resentful toward him. Sam also lies to Joe's widow about her husband's death. His paranoia also causes him to believe Grace and Tommy fell in love while he was away, causing him to remain aloof. When Grace questions Sam about what happened in Afghanistan, Sam demands to know what happened between her and Tommy. Grace tells Sam that she and Tommy kissed while he was gone, but Sam has trouble believing that is all that happened. When Grace questions Sam again, Sam does not respond and storms off. During Maggie's birthday party, Isabel is rude to her sister and jealously complains that Maggie got what she wanted for her birthday while Isabel did not. Isabel chastises Sam for being in Afghanistan during her birthday but being able to attend Maggie's. Isabel then begins to play with a balloon loudly, which, despite objections from Sam and Grace, triggers Sam's PTSD, causing him to become agitated and burst the balloon out of fury in front of the family. Already scared and resentful of Sam's erratic behavior and violent mood swings, a hurt Isabel falsely claims that Tommy and Grace are having an affair and angrily tells Sam that she wishes he had actually died. Returning home, Sam, believing his daughter's story, becomes enraged and proceeds to destroy the kitchen with a crowbar in front of Grace. He suddenly calms down when Tommy shows up and attempts to bring Sam into an embrace, trying to calm his brother's violent breakdown, while Grace isolates her daughters from their father. However, Sam immediately becomes defensive when he realizes that Tommy has already called the police. Department of Defense, DOD, police arrive and confront Sam, leading to a standoff. He fires a pistol into the air and demands that the policeman kill him before holding the gun to his own head, contemplating suicide, but reluctantly changes his mind and surrenders after several protests from Tommy and a tearful grace. Sam is arrested and admitted to a Veterans Affairs Hospital. Grace visits, giving him the ultimatum that if he does not tell her the truth, Sam will lose her forever. Sam finally confesses that he killed Joe, and they embrace, wondering if he will ever be able to live a normal life again. Thank you for watching our content. Over 99% seeing our videos without subscribing, it means small to you but it is very encouraging for us, please subscribe if you like our video. Please like, share and comment to support our efforts. Come on man subscribe.